I've had trichotillomania for, let's see, I started when I was 13, and I'll be 26 in September, so it'll be coming on to 13 years. It started for me when I got um, eczema in my eye. I thought I had something on like one of my eyelashes, and I was like trying to get it out, and like I pulled it out. I used to like break my hair, kind of, and I guess I just pulled it out or something. I was worried about ingrown hairs growing inside of the cut, and so that's when it started, just this little spot on my shin. I never like thought about pulling a hair before that, I guess. It was just this new thing. Hi, I'm Jillian Corsi, the director of the film Trickster, a featured documentary about trichotillomania. Trichotillomania is a body-focused repetitive behavior where people pull out their hair and can affect up to 15 million Americans. Trickster started as a small side passion project and over the past two years has grown in ways I'd never imagined. Everyone on our team has worked on this film in addition to having full-time jobs, donating their free time to make the film come to life. Through Kickstarter and Seed and Spark, we raised enough money to allow us to rent gear to film after work and on weekends. We traveled to a trichotillomania retreat in California flew to the TLC conference last spring, and even made it to London. The response we've had from the community has been so positive that in October, I decided to leave my job and focus on Trickster full time. Since then, I've been working on editing the 350 hours of footage that we have down to what we hope will be under 90 minutes. As many of you know, post-production is a time-consuming and expensive process. As we're approaching the final stages of finishing the film, we're also quickly approaching the end of our current funds. This next round will help us finish and bring Trickster to as many people as possible. These funds will go towards all aspects of post-production, from color correction to sound mixing to making DVDs. As some of you know, the best way to show an indie film like ours is to submit to film festivals. Well, each festival submission has a fee, and the festivals that we're accepted to will require a specifically formatted copy of the film, and those are expensive. We want to make sure that Trickster has the opportunity to play in as many places as possible, hopefully at a theater near you. So many people that we've talked to over the course of making this film have said how alone they felt while battling trichotillomania. And we've also spoken to lots of parents and friends of people with trick who are trying to understand how they can help their loved one. And so many people have said what a relief and comfort it is to know that there are other people like them going through the same thing. This film has a chance to reach those who have retreated into themselves, those who don't yet know that they're not alone. And this film has a chance to do that with your help. We know how valuable time is, so thank you for yours and taking the time to watch this video. If you're not able to contribute financially, please consider contributing socially by following us and reposting this video. Every fan on our page and follower on our Twitter or Tumblr brings Trickster closer to someone who needs to know this film is being made. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for you guys to see the film that we've been working on for the past few years.